is a very reliable switch. We are getting 10 gig speeds as well, and it's worked fantastically. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Microtech 12 port 10 gig switch. I did purchase this product by myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product and wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box in packaging right here, very simple and straightforward. It's letting us know that this is part of the Cloud Switch series and we have our product specific information right here on the back side. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have a quick start guide available in multiple languages with the QR code we can scan to find our correct user guide and manual. Next, you can see we have our two mounting brackets right here, followed by some screws and we have four feet pads as well, depending on how we want to install our switch. Next, you can see we have our two power cables right here followed by the switch itself. So check this out. You can see the Microtech logo and branding right here, Cloud Switch Series. We can look at it from the front. So you can see we have 12 copper 10 gig ports right here. The last four are our combo, so we can use with our SFP Plus ports if we want. Then you can see console, MGMT slash boot. We have our indicator lights everywhere, reset, USB. We have more lighting there. Cloud router switch with our model number. Microtech logo and branding. Here it is from the right side. Here it is from the left side. You can see it from the back side right here. We have our two power plugs. You can see, looks like we got four fans right here for cooling. Check it out from all the different sides and angles. And now you can see it from the back side right here as well. Now let's go ahead, let's prep this for install. Everything's all set up and ready to go. So first you can see we have our rack mount option installed with the two included brackets with four screws on each side. So you can see what that looks like. If you don't want to rack mount it, don't forget this can go on a flat surface as well. So you can see we went ahead, we installed the four bottom feet. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. So now you can see I have the switch installed. It's actually been a couple of months since I unboxed the switch. I've been using it all that time with zero issues. So I can report back, this is a very reliable switch. We are getting 10 gig speeds as well, and it's worked fantastically. And you may notice too, we are using some of the SFP ports. I have been using their own MikroTik modules, transceivers, which is great. So I have also tried it with some additional generic transceivers as well that have worked just fine in this switch. So overall, very happy with it. Only thing I wanna point out is sometimes it is loud. You maybe heard the fans running earlier. So when it does spin up, it is gonna generate some noise. It's not silent by any means, but it's been super reliable. I've had zero issues. And you can see we have both power supplies plugged in. They've been working great for months. With all that being said, the only thing I need to figure out someday is how to actually access the switch online. I'm only currently using it as a switch. That's what you get by default, but you may notice this is a cloud router switch. So I have tried to download their program and access the switch over my network, but I'm not a network engineer or network guru at all. So with that being said, I've been unable to access my switch and I have spent a couple of hours trying to figure it out online. And I would say they just don't have the best documentation, especially for somebody like myself who has no idea what they're doing. But if you are just looking for one of the most affordable 10 gig switches with so many different port options right here, you'll be hard pressed to find a better value. And again, I don't need the router functionality or to configure anything because it just works right out of the box for my network, which is basically just having our internet come in right here from our router up top, you can see that, and right there. So actually, I'm sorry, this is, the, this is the internet going out now to another source, but we have our internet coming in right here from our router, and it's worked great, just plug and play, so I have no complaints. But I have tried to even plug in directly to it right here, and I have not had any success being able to pull it up on my web browser with their default IP address. 
But with that being said, I don't have any use for it as well, but I would have liked to have made a video showing you guys what sort of features and options that you have. So maybe someday in the future. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.